Welcome back to this episode of RV Garage Living. On this episode of RV Garage Living, we'll put up the plywood walls to our powerhouse. As most of you remember, I work day shift, Sean works second shift, so while I was at work, Sean cut the half inch plywood and he made them, put it, applied it horizontally instead of vertically. And then he cut the top triangle pieces to fit underneath the eaves of the roof. If you've ever dealt with plywood and cutting it, you know that plywood is pressed wood. It's a bunch of layers of wood put together, glued, and then that's how they make plywood. So when you cut into it, it does tend to leave debris everywhere. So a cleanly work environment is a healthy work environment. So Sean uses the air compressor to spray out all of the extra excess wood that he's cut already. For those of you that have viewed our prior videos and for the new 900 viewers that we received in the last 24 hours, we do have our plethora of critters out here. I don't know technically what Idaho calls this little crawly bug thing. I call it a stink bug, although it does not stink whatsoever, not like the ones in the south. So they emit a smell like a skunk would in the south, but these do not. Sean has taken a router and cut out the three windows at the top of the building. These will be three uh, poly windows that will slide open and close due to this having batteries for our backup for our solar in it. So it's a, it needs to be in controlled environment. So if it gets too hot, we can open them up or not. And then I'll show you a little video of him grinding out, not grinding, but uh, taking the door frame off.
our building is a 10 by 10 park, which are eight feet long and four feet wide. It didn't actually work out the 10 foot 10 or 10 by 10. So Sean's having to shave a little bit off the end of this one. So he just used a little hack of knife to do that with. And just in case you all are wondering, I don't normally talk this much in a video. However, my mama said that I needed to talk a lot more often in the video. So this one's for mama. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks again. As you can tell, it is a very windy day. We have a storm rolling in. So I just want to say thank you all for watching our videos. Please subscribe, especially you new 900 viewers from the last 24 hours that didn't subscribe but did watch the video. Please do hit the subscribe button. If you don't want a notification every time I post a video, don't hit the bell. But if you want to know when we do post a new video, please do hit the bell. Also, give us a thumbs up for the like button. That also helps with our algorithm for YouTube. And I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks again. We'll see you next time. Bye!